I'm not sure if these blooms are pronounced bigaudi or bigoudi, and I'm gonna go with bigaudi, uh, and that means curler in French, so called because of its lovely curling petals. Whoop. Hello everyone, lovely to see you, and welcome to this week's arrangement called Sunday in the Park. I absolutely love the colour combination of this arrangement using these blooms, this sedum, Santini, Lysianthus and Gladioli. Uh, and it reminds me of the painting Sunday in the Park with George, the pointillist painting, uh, and it's just really, really beautiful and you're going to love it. It's taken me three years to bring these blooms to our arrangements. I saw them at a flower show three years ago. I spoke to the grower, he found enough seeds, he planted them for me, and now we have them, and I am so excited about them. They're such a great colour. As I always say, it's incredibly important to look after your flowers using these few easy steps. Use a clean vase, clean room temperature water, use your flower food, and snip a diagonal inch off the end of all your stems. So we're going to start arranging with our marvellous Bigaudi blooms arranged evenly around the edge of the vase. And then next we're going to face our sedum opposite each other again around the edge. And then we're going to do the same with our Santini, creating a square with our sedum, all neatly around the edge of the vase. What we then have is a lovely heptagon of flowers, yep, that's seven of something, which creates a wonderful stem grid in the middle of the vase for our taller flowers to stand up a little more centrally. We're now going to take our taller arena pink Lysianthus and stand it up a little more centrally. And we're then going to do the same with our taller gladioli, creating an even triangle around the Lysianthus. And we're now going to finish with our Eucalyptus parvifolia, which has been very kindly grown for us in Ireland. Uh, we're going to add the stems in the middle and pull its branches out and through the other flowers. And there we have it. It really is a fabulous colour combination. I love the sedum, which is just starting to turn a little bit reddy pink at this time of year. Uh, and you need to give it a few days for your gladiolite to burst open, and then it will look really spectacular. Quick dinner party question for you. Do you know which pharaoh was buried surrounded by blooms? The answer is... Tutankhamun! Woohoo! All I'm going to do is trim them down into the Freddy's Flowers cut down vase, which you can find on our shop, along with three little bud vases. And to do this, all we need to do is cut the stems in half and then follow my arranging instructions from last week. When you snip your stems in half, do make sure to remove quite a lot of the lower leaves or foliage so that there's a clean bit of stem going into the vase. And now I'm going to make a few matching bud vases using some of the trimmings from the Solidago, Carthamus and Rosehip that will come off when you are trimming your flowers. And here we have it, an arrangement that's been beautifully trimmed down for your kitchen table or the middle of the dining room table, whatever you want to call it. And then a few matchy matchy little bud vases to go along with it or perhaps to pop in the bathroom. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Very much hope to see you next time. Thank you.